Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and this is Richard, and I have three items that I want to show you. I think that's all I've got, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we just came back from Hobby Lobby, and uh, I ended up purchasing two items, and those are just going to be kind of just thrown into this video. The real video is about the third item that got delivered today got delivered today so anyway uh, I got some of these fancy feathers these black feathers from Hobby Lobby one two three four five six seven yeah ten there's ten feathers in here and I'm gonna use these to attach to my uh, graphite rods for the atlatl to have fletchings so I will be doing a video on that so we're gonna toss those over here now, uh, I kind of wanted to get some of this, uh, but I never would actually go out and buy it, and hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to get... I don't have any leather, and I don't have any hides that, that I will be willing to make leather out of. I do have a few hides, but I'm not going to make leather out of them. I like the way they are. But anyway, I have been asked by... Uh, uh, somebody that I know to make a wallet for his son and uh, I'm hoping that this uh, suede leather will do that this is one large piece uh, it says three pounds there's no actual size but it does say one large size piece and there's a better there you go uh, I'm hoping that this uh, will be stiff enough that I can make a wallet out of if not I do have some more of the hide that I made my moccasins out of. I do have a little bit more of this over there in my my remnants and things, but uh, maybe I'll just have to put that over the top after I make the wallet out of this. So we'll see. But the real reason I'm doing this video is because I have received some mail from print place uh, I ordered some rack cards for the dojo and they finally showed up and we are going to open them up and see what we got there we go one nice little slice and Open it comes. Okay. Oh, it's opened. It's opened. I haven't looked. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna let Michelle look first. Uh, it's a blank card. It's a blank card. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Piece of paper. Uh, oh, good lord. <laughs> Holy crap! Those look so good. They look so good. Okay. Oh my god. Those I look haven't so seen good. them yet. I haven't okay, seen them yet. Those really look good. I'm not even I, kidding. I haven't seen them yet. So. Oh. Did, Really? Yeah. Okay. You did good. So I designed these. Oh, nice. I like these. I told you. We got nice. Order. Yes. Now, uh, I did not put any address or any uh, information on the front part of the card because what I'm going to, because that stuff changes for me on regularly. Too regularly. Too regularly to be printing it all in the card. So what I'm doing is I'm going to get some stickers for the back that's going to have the address, the phone number, and any pertinent information that I need. But I, yes, I really, and there's my dojo card right now. Baby, those look so good. I really do like that. I really do like that. I told you. There were, and I got a hundred of the, a hundred? Mm -hmm, I, I got a so. hundred of these. I hope so. So anyway, I don't know, maybe two hundred. No invoice? I didn't. No. Oh. Hold on a second. Oh, hold on. There's one stuck at the bottom. There we go. That yeah, I think 200. this. I think this is more than 100. Uh, no, because one's. I don't know. I'm not gonna guess. I'm thinking this is more than 100. No, look I at the. Look at that. Well, regardless, that's a lot of them. So I am going to start passing these out and leaving these where I can to try to get people to come. Uh, now, when I did it, 
I wanted to make sure that my MMA belt was on it and I also wanted to represent my Aikido and uh, here I am with my MMA gear and <laughs> here I am with my Aikido the dojo name up on top and then the flags of the martial art uh, cultures that I got the martial arts from so the of course the Japanese flag is is for the Aikido the Brazilian flag is for the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that I've done the uh, Filipino flag uh, is for the Kali and then the American flag is well because I'm an American but uh, for now and that uh, uh, MMA just basically Zenshin is now an American art because it's a mix of all this stuff so anyway that's uh, this is my card and uh, I, I, I'm surprised I'm really surprised and I'm very happy. They they turned out really well. I was a little I was a little scared that I spent this money for cards that weren't going to look so good, but this is fantastic. So I'm super excited about that. So I do have rack cards that I can put in books. I can leave around, I can hand out, I can do whatever I need to do. And all of the pertinent information that is necessary is going to be placed onto uh stickers and labels and stuff that that are going to go on the back so anyway there we go zinchin self-defense academy rat cards thank you guys for watching bentley's backwards bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard <laughs>